Don't you just love a blossom tree? Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. My last day of my Easter holidays. And it's not raining, which means... What better, better way to spend the day than go out on my bike in the morning? As always, welcome back to Bikes and Brushes. I've always got loads to do, but I am going to take some time out to go on my bike and go and get some breakfast and share a moment with you guys. So I'm going to get the bike out of the garage and speak to you soon. Well, do you know what? This weather really doesn't know what it wants to do. It's supposed to be glorious today. I can see little bits of blue sky over there, but it keeps turning grey. <laughs> Well, anyway, I've taken the opportunity to come out on the bike. Possibly the last day I can ride out on me Todd for a while. Obviously, I can do the weekends, but I'm back in work on Monday. But I seriously wanted to take the opportunity. I must remember it's only 30 mile an hour on this road. Take the opportunity to thank everybody for all the views. I mean, I'm blown away by how popular my last video was. I mean, I know, don't get me wrong, YouTube, promote, to do all that stuff. But yeah, I am very humble about how, you know, my channel is developing and that you guys are commenting and, you know, liking the, the stuff that I do and encouraging me to carry on. So yeah, I made up a bit of a dodgy corner this one because um, so many people cut it kind of cut the corner and so before you know it they're in your lane yeah we're good we're good we're good <laughs> and there's another thing I need to do watch the indicator I got a couple of you guys um, nervous because I don't turn my indicator off and yeah Sean is looking into maybe getting me one of those beepers to remind me I don't know why it is sometimes I know what I'm doing and sometimes I just I just totally forget okay so other than this um, GoPro playing up on me and wobbling all over the place, Ultimate add-ons are going to... Um, I've ordered some new clamps so that the GoPro doesn't um, go all over the show and I have to keep on tidying it up. Right, where are you going? You stay in there? Nice one. Didn't indicate, but never mind. Going to go for some breakfast and have a look at some bikes because... As you know, if you're following me and Sean, oh, indicator, um, I'll stay here, we are looking for another bike, I'll straighten you up, because this bike I want to stay mint and possibly I've been to see BBG Customs customise it, so I um, it can be bikes and brushes and um, have a bit of orange. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe you've got some ideas. Um, but yeah, make it my own and make it a, a, a bike that forever, a forever bike. So in the meantime, we will need um, we will need a bike that we can both go on and um, use for general um, getting out and about without having to pull this one out. Turn the indicator off, guys. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah have a bike that we can you know use ourselves together go to work on possibly and um not wreck this bike or the gs that sean's got i better put that down it is a bit windy um so yeah i'm gonna go and do that and um then possibly go to um billinge for a little mooch have a little look up there because they've got some gorgeous views um, beyond so I might do that as well this is my turning I keep forgetting where I am indicator I'm all right when I keep telling myself indicator Sorry. all right Ooh. I hate them bloody bumps Right, my bug pro's gone crazy, so I'm going to park up and turn it off and um, speak to you guys soon. You 
never have a good air day when you're on a bike, I tell you that now. Oh, you don't want to be going into that. Uh, oh, God. It's going to be a really tight turn there. Huh? Right, let's go and get some breakfast. The Keyway 125. Remember, I took out the. Um, was it 300? Hey. That'd be a great little bike to um, knock about on, but not enough power for Sean. And Sean take this one out. Too big for me, that. Far too big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we get a coffee first and then um, come down and have a look at some of these bikes. You see, I mean, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to sit on some of them. They're all crammed in. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Why is that I keep going to a Harley Davidson? When they're so bloody heavy and expensive. Doesn't make any sense, that really, does it? We're getting more and more Harley Davidsons in here. The electric bike. There's, like I say, there's quite a range in here. Um, you know, from the Chinese ones to all the all of the modern ones. But um, let's go and get a brew, and then we'll come back down and we'll have a little look. Ah, yeah. Really, really shouldn't come in here on my own. Desperate for a new lid. Because we take the comms out and change the um, the inners. Look at all the makeup on that as well. We ch we're changing things in and out of the, the lids all the time and they become really, um, like buttons don't fasten anymore and stuff like that. They're not unsafe, don't get me wrong, they're still safe, we haven't dropped them or anything, but every now and then, when you see brand new lids like this, you really can't help yourself, can you? You want another one? God knows how many we've got in the loft already. I mean, for touring, I've got the fantastic Shoei that has been customised. Um, to go on tour but really knocking about now this one that I've got the Nolan it's really quite heavy it's quite a heavy heavy lid and loads of people when they see me with it say like, how heavy is your lid I'm thinking oh god it must be oh they're nice up there again that um, measurements it's the showy that's best on my head well it would be wouldn't it because they're quite expensive Shocking in there and it's full of men. There actually is no women in there. Oh, hang on, there's a woman just turned up on a bike. So I thought I'd come out here, get blown away. And plus there's loads of music going on out there as well. So I wouldn't be able to video. So yeah, um, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's bought me a coffee. So cheers for that. I mean, every little penny helps, doesn't it? <laughs> because I know I've got a full-time job, but doing this as well with all the cameras and getting out and about it all kind of costs doesn't it and the cost of living at the moment is absolutely stupid so yeah cheers anyway before i start ranting on thanks for all the coffees that you buy cheers not the best of coffee that one i need to say so yeah sitting outside in the sun waiting for my big breakfast <laughs> I'm sure on this keto diet I'm going to expand and not go in but um, I'll let you know when it comes <laughs> I had this yesterday as well it's a good job I'm going back to work isn't it because at least when I go back to work I just eat salads right, I'm going to munch into this this will be probably all I eat today until tonight when I get home and I'll just have a carry <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my brew and then see if I can sit on some bikes downstairs. But to be fair, they're all crammed in so much when, uh, when I'm with somebody. 
it's easier because they can move the bikes out while I'm carrying everything else at the same time. But we'll see. I'll have a little move around the shop as well. All right. Think this and then go downstairs. I'll speak to you in a minute. And there's the 302 that I said about that I took out. It's a nice bike. It really is a nice bike. I don't, know, I don't know if it's got enough for Sean, because obviously he'd have to use it as well. But obviously it's gotta be it's gotta be something that I can fit onto. Benelli's. I think it's this one we took out. But that one's quite nice. It's a 500. Well that looks a bit tall that, doesn't it? Don't know whether that's gonna be too tall for me. I'm sat on. Well, you can see. Here you go. The Vulcan S. Do you know what? I sat on this when um, before I got the Honda Rebel. It's a big bike. It feels a lot bigger, actually. The guy's just been saying that. But the pegs are forward. Which isn't a problem. I'm used to the pegs being forward. But yeah, a really, really nice feel. I don't know whether Sean would go for this, though. Quite like the all black as well. Not had a Kawasaki in the um, in our house. <laughs> it's probably the only make that we haven't had. So I've just asked them to pull out the Benelli. Yeah, it's far too tall. Hang on, I'm tiptoeing. You sure? Yeah, I'm only tiptoeing. This has got a wide girth, guys. It'd be it'd be fine for Sean. Um, maybe if we just lowered it a little bit, it'd be fine. I'm not too I'm not too stretched out. It's not too heavy. But it looks good. Ugh. Nice dick, isn't it? Mm. But like you say, this is. I think if it had, like, you know, you get them black headlight covers. Yeah. If it had one of them. Yeah, I don't know what that is about. It's a bit weird, that, isn't it? Well, they've done it with that as well. Oh, uh, okay. Unfortunately, I haven't got one with. No, you haven't got one here, have you, for me to sit uh, on? Not with the lowered seat, anyway. No. No. Never mind. And, um, the, the Royal Enfield is definitely a contender. It's cheap enough as well, and I can defo touch the floor. And Sean's been out on, on one of them. Um, but I'm not even going to bother in there. They're just crammed like sardines. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. All the guys in the um, showroom pulling a couple of bikes out for me. You know what? That Benelli was quite good. Quite nice. I was tippy toey, but um, I could see the attraction to the Benelli's. Although the um, the light wasn't too clever. Anyway, passed some time away, had a really nice breakfast, had a little chat to some guys. <laughs> no women at all to be seen. How bizarre. Well, maybe you can hear me now. Yeah, not one per not one woman to be seen other than the other than the lovely lady serving my breakfast. So yeah, I might go for a little mooch around. Clear my headspace. Since I last spoke to you guys, my uncle passed away. In the last video, I'd shared some sad news with my dad. Some nice clear headspace is what I need. I have started a patent, so I will go back and I will complete that as well. And spend the last day of my holidays in a nice mental health place. Um, what else have I done? Oh God, yeah, you will laugh. Um, what do you do when you start doing YouTube? You get YouTube stickers. So there are going to be some bikes and brushes stickers coming ahead. If you fancy one, 
send us a message and I'll put all the details down for you. Um, until then, I will stop off later and have a little chat to you. Speak to you soon. thinking as I was riding home then I have not been here which is our local park Sutton Park since the last time I was on a Michigan my Michigan my very first bike and now in that exact spot let me show you this picture I was on a totally different bike how mad's that how time flies and all the different things that happen in between that time and what you can achieve in that given time. Forever reflecting at the moment. So much I want to do. You guys doing the same. You reflecting and wondering how you're going to get through all those dreams that you want to do you want to achieve right spend about five minutes here oh, I'm wishing I had a coffee <laughs> a nice one because that last one was rank <laughs> <laughs>